How healthy is your heart? I want to start the first of a four-part series on creating or restoring a healthy heart. Good morning. Welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. I'm Terry. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, what food? Well, the food we put into our bodies basically becomes the makeup of our body, doesn't it? Well, what about our spiritual body? What does it take? I mean, whatever we put into our minds basically becomes the makeup of our heart, doesn't it? So that becomes our spiritual food, if you will. So what do we have to do to put the proper food into our body to make a spiritually healthy heart? Two things. One, unplug from the world's noise and chaos. How tough is that? The world is so full of distractions and social media, TV, internet, people, information bombarding us. We have to be very intentional of our time and remove ourselves from the din of the world sometimes, don't we? That's what Jesus did in Mark, the first chapter, tells how after he spent the day with people, he went out, departed to a solitary place, and prayed. And that leads us into the second thing, plug into God's Word. So when you unplug from the world, you plug into God's Word. Now, we'd all love to hear God's voice, but Raise your hand if you've heard him audibly. Doesn't normally happen, does it? His Bible is not just words. In 2 Timothy 3.16, it tells us that all scripture is inspired, or as some translations say, breathe of God. It is God speaking directly to us. Your Bible is God speaking to you. In Hebrews 4, the 12th verse, it says it's living, it's active, it's a discerner of our thoughts and the intents of our heart. So to get the proper spiritual food into our spiritual body, we have to unplug from the world, remove ourselves from that chaos and the world's input, plug into God's input that positions us to create that healthy heart that we're looking for. So begin that process this week. I'm going to be back with you on Wednesday with the second session, and I so much appreciate you joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time. God bless.